back to my channel. Today is Saturday, and that means time for another cartoon right here on my channel. Today, we are drawing one of my personal childhood favorites, as I am sure it was for many a young boy and girls back in the 1980s, and that is from the Thundercats. More specifically, Moomra, the ever living <clears throat> well, <laughs> enter the maniacal laugh if you want to. That's fine by me. Now, Thundercats was put out by Rankin Bass back in 1985, and Moomra was the villain from this sci fi fantasy cartoon that captured the hearts and minds of the impressionable young boys and sold a lot of merchandise in its wake, along with Transformers, He Man, G.I. Joe, and many others back in its heyday. So, Moomra. What can I say? The word kind of morphed from someone suggesting a Hebrew name, actually. Mumai Ra. I, I don't mean to butcher it, but that's what I think it means. Or, that's what I think it says, rather. Which means, Bad Mummy. And then it was shortened to just Moomra. Moomra was a self-proclaimed baddie that wanted to destroy the Thundercats and take the eye of Thundera for himself. I mean, come on. That's such a bad guy thing to do. Really? Come on. Why not just open up a coffee franchise and sell hyped up ice drinks while calling your employees something like baristas, which sounds more impressive than it actually is, which just means someone who... Oh. Yeah, okay. Kind of getting off track there, but you get the point. Okay, they make coffee, but... He was a bad man, and he considered himself rightfully head baddie of the planet called Third Earth, which was really Earth, just in a very, 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 very far future. And he lived, or maybe unlived, for a very, very long time. And to me, he was a bad man, and he considered himself rightful head baddie of this planet like all baddies would. So. Now, as you can see from this video, I'm trying to capture the essence of the whole duality of Moomra and also give a grander scale to the Moomra footprint. And let me tell you, this video took a lot more work and planning than many of the other videos I've done over the last year. Hey, I'm not complaining at all. I've enjoyed it all. It's like breathing. I, I love it. I love drawing, and I love the shows that that I grew up with. I'm just saying. I hope the complexity. I'm just saying that I hope the complexity shows, but doesn't take away from the art that is this video's main bread and butter. Now, speaking of bread and butter, I have merch in my Redbubble account by the same name as my channel here. I'm kind of sketchy. Link will be in the description below. And I'd appreciate it if you go pick up a t-shirt or a water bottle or something from my collection of varied items and help support my channel so that I can bring you more content here on my channel. And also, if you haven't already, please like, sub, share, and hit that bell button with all your gorgeous friends out there and help this channel grow. Now, getting back to the baddie, the biggest baddie of Third Earth for a moment, I don't know. To a 13 year old, he sure seemed to be the stuff of nightmares and his powers to transform, throw fireballs, and even dream into your dreams seemed pretty bad donkeys to me. But hey, actually, that's what you actually need when you have really good heroes and good guys out there roaming around doing good stuff. Helping people, exploring, reducing their carbon footprint, recycling, paying their bills on time. Yeah, I mean, come on, right? <laughs> well, hmm. I guess that's about it. But I really had fun with this, and I hope you, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I guess that's all the time I have for this video. And as you can see by now, I have just shown Moomra his accursed reflection. Which means, back to your tomb, you baddie. 
you big, bad, badly wrapped mummy. Yeah, it's a good thing I had this mirror lying around, huh? Okay, well, until next time, I am your artist Logan. I'm kind of sketchy, and I'll catch you laters.